Uh, g'day boys, welcome back to Term 4. Um, hope you've had a um, good holiday break and got away from those screens and, and tried to reset your habits and, and get back into a good routine as we head into Term 4. Um, it's um, disappointing obviously that we're not back at school but hopefully um, we get maybe some news today or um, with those vaccination rates up we get some type of idea of what the kind of plan going forward is. Um, today I just want to go through the plan for the next couple of weeks as we head into a kind of exam revision time or what I want you to be doing and how things are going to look on our class page. So I've put together um, this Term 4 Planner exam revision resource that will sit on our GrammarNet page um, for the remainder of the year and this is a live document Document, meaning this is my Google um, form here and um, you'll be able to see um, this on the GrammarNet page and any adjustments I make as we go through will reflect on the page um, straight away. So I've kind of broken this into the different segments on the exam, music history, um, some oral stuff and anything else that might come in from Mr Watson as the term progresses. So firstly related to music history as um, you would have been aware from our uh, mock exam um, sections, we did a couple of sections at the end of last term that um, um, we have some work on um, music history. So firstly, um, I've got some um, anything that's blue and underlined is hyperlinked to my Google Drive. So it will either be um, stuff that you're familiar with in terms of my Google Doc type make a copy or if it's um, some either PDFs, images or even some Google Slides. So the first one is a bit of a resource um, pertaining to um, the Baroque classical romantic and 20th century musical styles. Um, then I have a PDF um, relating to just some specific 20th century musical styles, atonal impressionism, neoclassical minimalism and jazz. Um, that's a um, Google slide that works you through those different styles as characteristics features the elements of music within each of those styles and that has lots of embedded audio so that's really going to be a big help for you guys. The last two ones are more like um, supplementary resources. One's some what I've called a characteristic statement so when you're listening to some musical excerpts you can have this characteristic statement sheet up and it'll help you decide what um, style of music you're listening to. For instance has some questions around tonality. Um, it will ask you know is it major? Is it minor? And you make some, um, it will help you inform you. Um, is the harmony complex? Is it dissonant? Is it um, very basic? Is the rhythm simple? Does it change? Does the dynamics change? So all these types of different um, um, lenses in which we listen to music through um, these statements will help you decide what style it is and then lastly I've kind of condensed as much as I can all those characteristics down into one uh, a one page study guide for each of those 20th century styles so that's um, regarding that stuff um, then um, anything to do with the Baroque classical romantic and 20th century there's some revision tasks made by Mr Wasson which I've embedded on the class page which I'll show you so shortly here's five tasks pertaining to specifically those 20th century musical styles um, and they are again those kind of make a copy Google Doc type format with embedded audio. Um, there's a section on trumpet, the trumpet sorry, um, and it's um, development through music history and then another unit on vocal uh, music again made by Mr Watson so I've embedded, embedded them on Gramanet. Um, for the oral section of the exam um, we've been doing a lot of oral over the lockdown and obviously with our ear master training that we would do at school and hopefully you've been able to keep a bit of that up um, as a bit of a break from your other work throughout this lockdown. Um, I've kind of got the different sections, triads, sevenths, chords, cadences, intervals and progressions here and then I've um, again hyperlinked a whole lot of YouTube videos that will help you out if you're getting a bit stuck or you need some tips and tricks. There's some really cool ones about um, you know cadences is really cool, um, songs that help you identify the different intervals, um, some other really cool ones by some of my favourite YouTubers there. So work your way through there. Um, I've also got a couple of revision sheets on um, chord progression identification and then I've also embedded um, again another section um, from a mock exam from Mr. Wasson that's going to be on our grammar net page. And then some analysis, um, again, repeating features and compositional devi um, devices, some listening um, audio examples, again, made by Mr. Wasson. I've embedded them on our grammar net page. And if anything else comes in, I'll, I'll add it in here.
So what does the next two weeks look like? I've kind of made a, a rough um, plan for the next two weeks. Again, this may change depending on what happens, but um, it gives you a bit of guide. So for today, I want you to work through that 20th century um, resource slide up the top here, um, which is this second one here, with the one with heaps of audio and goes through all the different 20th century musical styles, and then try and complete task one and two. So that will be these two tasks here. Tomorrow you do three and four, and then you can save task five for when you're doing your proper revision closer to exams okay later in the week um, we're going to dive back into some of the revision stuff made by Mr. Watson um, pertaining to the other styles and then there's a piece of work on the trumpet and musical history next week we'll get, jump into his um, vocal music um, unit and then later on again some more revision pertaining to um, repeating features compositional devices um, later on I've made a list here of um, other things that you need to revise that haven't been included within this two-week plan. So um, anything on Airmaster, um, oh, that Section D um, mock exam um, that I will put here, this all section, you, I'll, I'll show you on the gram net page soon. And then I'll add anything else that comes in on this uh, part. So let's go to our gram net page now. So you'll see what I just went through is front and center on our grammar net page um, i've also um i've also got a zoom ready for tomorrow so that's going to be at um 12 30 so i hope you're all on there so we can go through some of this this stuff again if we scroll down underneath i've also um oh sorry attached a few pdfs which is just pdfs of those um google slide stuff that i've actually linked up here um, but if we go down our page um of these are those other things that aren't Google-based stuff that are grammar net quizzes or other piece of work that Mr. Watson's made. I've put them in here so you can see that music history one, you can see the trumpet unit, you can see the vocal music one, and you can see the analysis one as well. And there's that, um, a few other things, um, this all mock exam section D that I talked about earlier on that you can do closer to our exam time. So there's a few things there. They've all got um, the same due date um, in two weeks' time, um, but you can get in stuck in whenever you want this um kind of example schedule for the next two weeks that i've got here is a, is a guide it's a kind of bare base if you want to go through quicker that's absolutely fine you can get through that stuff if you wish and that means you have more time to get stuck into some of these other things here so i hope that helps it's um you know i've tried to just get it all out there um rather than doing it piece by piece it gives you a good indication of where we're going and again we've got that zoom tomorrow where i'll just go over all this stuff again so that's at 12 30 you just come into the class page and you'll click um, in this um, section here this component and then we can start the zoom so i hope you're there at 12 30 and my ready to go but for today what you're going to be starting with is um, checking out that 20th century style resource slide and then after that check out these other two supplementary resources um, to help you out with task one and two for today so uh, best of luck boys um, shout out in the chat if you need any help and i hope it goes well